Good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode with Just Vanning It. This episode, we're going to share with you some bits and pieces of what's going on with us moving forward. We also got to announce the winner for the scan tool that we ran since last week, Wednesday. We do have a winner. But first, let's just jump in and have a look at what, how, what and how our travels have looked like um, for the last few months of this year. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Okay, guys. Sue has picked a winner. And I have to say a big thank you to everyone again. Yes. We got an influx of messages and comments and there were so, so many good ones. I actually spent most of the week just laughing um, at some of the comments that came through. We would, all, you know, we would love to give away one of these to everyone um but unfortunately we can't we've got to choose one there was a lot of comments of people saying you know that they they solo travelers and stuff so if you don't win one of these guys hop on to their website that they sell a heap of gear for travelers four-wheel drivers caravanners and stuff like that that and um the company is always bringing in new products to try and help us people out on the road and We've got a discount code for our check, and that is JVR10. When you check out, get you 10% discount. So for some of those um, people that you know didn't win, and they feel like you know they need one of these, or like tire pressure management systems for your car and your van to know tires, um, pressures, uh, temperatures. There's deflators. We use them. They are the, the best ones we've used. Uh, we've tried all of them. Um, they just the stuff is good quality. So. So without further ado, the winner is, and Derek will pop it up in the corner, at BB Budget. There you go. So at BB Budget, thank you very much um, for your comment. And if you can reach out to us with your personal details so we can get you your yeah, winner. Yeah, I'll just give you one hot tip. We're making this episode pretty, pretty live, um, you know, as we travel. We're, we're going to discuss what we're doing in the next few days. So we ask if you can reach out to us within the next 24 hours. I know it's a bit, but because we're not going to be near another post office for at least three to four weeks. So <laughs> we would love to get this out to you immediately. Um, immediately. So by the time we're finished with our what we're going to talk about, you have received it. And um, you can put it in your car and hopefully this will get you out of trouble or get someone else out of trouble that's traveling with you or... Whatever the case is. Fantastic. So a bit of chit chat this week. As Derek mentioned, um, there's a fair bit going on. We've had a really busy couple of weeks um, oh, leading up. And to be honest, you know, we're not the most organized people. So we're feeling pretty unorganized. Um, and that's partly due to some upcoming changes um, and some big decisions that we've had to make. Um, and whenever you make sort of big decisions, it, it's always a stressful time, or it can be a stressful time. Um, so as you saw on the thumbnail... Yes, our, our Rough Rider, Vacation of Rough Rider, is up for sale. Um, pick up, we can have a chat about it, um, because we're, 
we've got a bit going on. So, and obviously we live in it full time and we are currently in Broome, heading sort of back over to the east. So if you're interested in a 18 foot six, this is a, um, and there's no bunks or anything in this van. It's just a, a, a like a one sleeper, cat, like queen bed. Well, you can put the chairs. This does well. fold down. We have got the cushion for this, that this table drops down and creates another little sleeping area over here. Um, we do have, if you don't know, if you're new to our channel, we've got a reveal video. I'll pop up in the corner here. You can go back there and watch the reveal video. I think we give sort of a rundown of this entire van. In detail. Um, what extras we put on it, what is involved in it, and yeah, it's up for sale. Um, 2022 It's a 2022 rider. build, May last year. We, we we built it, and I think we picked it up at the end of May. Um, it's full off-road caravan, full off-road grids, power system. Another, We've got another episode of that. I'll drop it up here as well if you're interested in the power system. I'll give you a little hot tip. 600 amps of lithium, full Victron system. You can run the aircon off grid. You can run everything off grid. So we're when you know I don't know quite know the terminology, but when we put the inverter on, it, the whole van's 240 plus 12 volts. So it's not just one plug. The whole van comes alive at 240 when off grid. 800 watts of solar on the roof and an Anderson plug to plug a blanket in. We have used it. Um, obviously, you can see we got the big toolbox up the front. Fortunately, that outboard and the, the 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 slide will come out the toolbox. If you're wanting to put an outboard in it, we can negotiate and I can leave the LMAX slide because we got some exciting stuff that's going to come out and go into our new setup. And so, yeah, guys, north to south, queen bed, 270 fridge. Fusion system, TV, smart TV. It's got gas cooktop, grill, plus the oven. It's got 200 litres of water underneath, plus 100 litres of grey water. So when we're um, off-grid camp, and you can shut that, and it can collect your grey water. It's a full ensuite, wall-hung washing machine, independent flat floor um, caravan, so it's independent suspension, so it's full off-road. And the flat floor gives you that nice height for clearance as well. Um, Plenty of storage. Plenty of storage in the van. We've absolutely loved this van. It's a lot of people asking us, "What are we doing?" We, you know, we we ambassadors, so we we're moving forward um, to make room for another van um, as such. So yeah, re reach out to us, DM us um, if you want to know any more. Go back watch those videos. If there's anything more you want to know about the price, please DM us um, via Facebook, Instagram. We don't, yeah, privately would be great and, you know, genuine, genuine people. Otherwise, like, yeah, we just get unindicted and, you know, if you're interested in the van, we can make it, make it happen. And it doesn't matter where you're sort of, what state you're in, because we're currently in Broome. We've got to, we've got to travel, we're going to go back into the NT. So, you know, we can, we can make something work. It's registered in Victoria. It'll come with Rego. We're going to service the van before it goes, if anyone was wondering. So it'll get a full service, and if anything needs to be replaced, we shall replace it. So make sure you 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 know clear mind when you do pick up the van. Um, the clock is coming with us, by the way. It's not staying. <laughs> we get it. We got to ask a lot. We need to, are you taking the clock or the clock staying? Unfortunately, the clock is coming with us. <laughs> so yeah, just um. So, so so the van's up for sale. That you know that can creates a whole nother talking point of where we're going next but we also want to try and keep it a little bit of a surprise too so we won't give too much that's away that's what we youtubers do you know yes. we give you a little bit we don't give it all and we keep you you know waiting Hold the suspense there we go um the other thing is we don't actually know where we're going or we didn't actually know where we're going so again Derek and I'm not the most organized people so we, I, I got, okay sorry we were yeah. doing the gib then we weren't doing the gib then, then we, we were, were doing then we, we weren't, weren't doing the gib and then we looked at different options well, to get back east let's, let's be honest if you drive from Broome back east there's you've you've basically only got four sort of what I know routes to get back that's the gib the bitumen through Fitzroy Halls Creek back to sort of Catherine. We go back down the west coast across, I think it's called the Great Central Highway, or we go further down and you cross the Nullarbor back across east. 
We <laughs> didn't want to do the gear because, unfortunately, Sue couldn't get leave. And then we heard it wasn't really dog friendly. And we were going, the signs are there. Let's not do it. We've met up with Brad and Haley from our Australia trip. Amazing couple. We did the cape with them last year. We've caught up with them down in um, Exmouth and stuff. And they kind of said, how long did you want to do the gib for? And we were like, we're not sure. And anyway, we've tagged, we've sort of going to tag with them and we're going to alternate on some of the stuff that we can't do the dog with. And shame they've offered to look after Bob. So they'll go out in the day while so we work. So watch the space. We're traveling and, uh, the gib yeah. with the young ones. But also the good news is that um, we got a neighbor next door. He had a bit of a chat with us. Thank you very much. I think I can't remember his name. Jared, I think his name is. I'm bad with names. They've just come across and the graders have just gone through. So, and I've spoken to someone today. Um, the, the, the hardest, apparently the, the worst road is up to Mitchell's Falls. So, there we go. That's. So, we are doing the gib. Answers the question of which way we going. So, we were going to be going across the gib, coming out at Kananara, and then we will hopefully have some sort of direction if the van sells and um, we know where to go, sort of. Whether we have to go, sort of. Back to Down Queensland, South Australia, South Victoria, Australia Queensland. Yeah. Yeah. There are options. Yeah. So nationwide. Um, so that's really good. Um, the well, we know where we're going now, so that's a tick. Well, it's only for three weeks, so we after yeah. that we don't know where. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. And <clears throat> thirdly, Derek mentioned that unfortunately I couldn't get leave, so I've had a lot going on, sort of work wise. So I'm sure you already know, but I work full time from the van. So that's Monday to Friday. Um, and we've had a lot going on at work and a lot of changes going on at work. And I've had sort of my sort of two IC was overseas for five weeks. So I was doing a couple of jobs and that was a bit stressful. Um, and it also changes how we travel as well, because yeah. traveling and doing YouTube on top of travel plus the work. That's it's, it's full on, it's full yeah. On. But it, being in WA with a time difference has, been ha, good. It has helped us. As soon as we cross back into the NT or, or, or in especially back down to sort of Victoria and that we, we Sue so will go back to the sort of nine to five. But that does times. mean I can sleep later and you yeah. know I'm atrocious in the morning. So hopefully, like, yeah, hopefully we can get a good run on the gear and we can try and bring you some awesome content and, and, and our experience. So there's a, there's a couple of crazy things that we're going to be doing on the gib, which I can't wait for. It's going to get us out outside our comfort zone, which is pretty cool. Oh, dear Lord. So, well, we are doing it with Brad and Haley. I mean, I had to go for a walk on the beach with them the other day. You just do it. Like, my legs were going at, like, three times the pace their legs were going. But um, it was really good. So, looking forward to that also, and um, what like they get us into. Also, like to say, we're a bit flat tonight because, you know, we're just honest people. We have to, we have to tell you why. <laughs> We come up with this idea when we're in Broome, first time we've ever done it, and, and, and Brad and Heidi thought it was a great idea, is we put a post out, and we, for the people that were sort of in and around Broome, to come down to the brewery last, yesterday afternoon, to come and catch up with us, and a few people came, I can't remember names, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but it was, you know, there was a good handful or two of people that came down, and it got a little bit, um, and it was really good to meet everyone, while. it was so good, um, whoever did come got the full package, um, of us from from being yeah from the beginning to the end um we did get a cab home and it, today's been a bit of a, a, a yeah a and it was great a, bobby could go day. in the cab that's one of the benefits about the cabs in Broome. yeah they're literally pet friendly so he was incredibly excited running around the cab on the way there and the way back and i'd like to say if, if you know if you're watching this and you we, we tried it here and we're thinking about doing it in the sort of the bigger towns where we where we go back to. We'll put a post out, and then we'll try to find somewhere where we can, you know, try and get everyone to come meet up and I think say good day. Next time we'll go to a wellness coffee shop. Yeah, no, it won't be a brewery. <laughs> I think it'll be a coffee shop or something. But no, it was real good. It was real good. It was amazing. We actually met some amazing people, and um, yeah, we'll be in contact with them and continue. Yeah. You know. Um, keeping in touch and, and seeing how their travels go. Um, but the midweek episode, so we really love making the witty midweek episodes. Um, we have a lot of fun making them. To, to be honest, Eric's hilarious when we make them, so Wait. why wouldn't you? Um, and I think we've put out about 20 midweek oh, episodes. Yeah. So 
really interested to hear what you um, as viewers would like to hear about. We, we've obviously done all sorts from sort of top spots to educational videos to our experience. Um, but really keen if there's anything specific you would like to see or hear. Um, and it'll yeah. help us out in terms of some creative ideas as well. Uh, so drop in your comments. Let us know what you like. Let us the know reason what why we like ask is that we know we can make this, this stuff, but if it's not relevant to... If it's not going to really help you or entertain you, then, you know, we would love to get your feedback because we want we don't want to make stuff that's just a waste of time too. And to be, I'll, you know, I think we're going to be honest. Like, it's not that we're running out of content on weekdays. It's just, yeah, we've covered quite a lot. And maybe we've missed something and you would really like us to talk about it um, during the week episode. That would be, hit us up. Yeah, let's yeah, make yeah. this let's make this not just about us let's make this you know we want to get everyone involved don't we but that's it really that's our update so exciting news we're obviously doing the gib committed eventually that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks and um as we head up north uh we're selling the van so depending on yeah. where we sell it uh that will determine where we go next yeah and then obviously you know you got the christmas holidays that come up and Generally, we're not prepared for that either, and it can go for six or seven weeks. And um, you know, you know, nothing wrong with it. People are getting out; that's the main thing. But you know, caravan seem parks seem to put their prices up, and yeah. it, it, it gets booked out. So we're like, yeah, we got to figure that out as well um, for the Christmas period. And then we don't want to do what we did last year, and then not have any content for six, seven weeks over the Christmas period either. Yeah. So we got to try and figure what we're going to do when, it, in terms of. Of, of that later in the year because yeah we want to just keep going and keep building it up for the new year what's next year 2024 2024 that exciting year next year like yeah, we've we got do, a few yeah. things planned and directions and and stuff that we want to do so i'm pretty keen to get i don't want to like so you don't want to wish time away but i'm excited for next year um <laughs> you know you've got a bit going on which i'm you know i'm pretty excited to share with you guys later on as as it unfolds so keep you know hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss that but yeah we literally leave for the given a few days and derek is madly prepping we're talking is... brad we're prepping mate we, i'm turning screws i'm <laughs> i'm tightening bolts i'm i'm you know gonna fill up the boat we possibly even get the boat off up there that'll be mint we the got... car's just been like shopping back shopping back shopping back yeah. With all the prep, so... So we um, just got to service it now, and I reckon, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. So, oh well guys, it's not quite a, a normal midweek episode, but we thought we'd share with some stuff, because we get a lot of questions now that the van's up for sale, um, what's going on, so we thought we'd make this episode. We um, we are going to be, obviously, keep, keep going, so that's a hint. Yeah. But, yeah, that's it. That's it, it's a short, short and sweet one this week, but we'll have something next week, Wednesday, for you. Congratulations to SBB Budget. Please get in touch. We'll get this off to you in the, in the next two days while we're in, in Broome. We can get this across to wherever you are. And um, keep a lookout. We might run another couple of giveaways. We, we try to plan one for the end of the year too. So keep an eye out for that. But we're just trying to give back to you guys. So for myself, Sue and Bob, guys, from a very hot broom. I've actually got the fans and the aircon turned off because it makes too much noise for the microphone. I'm like melting. We're all melting here, so I'm we're gonna make it quick. We're I gonna need air. we're gonna sign off on this episode and um, I can turn everything back on. But for myself, soon, Bob, guys, have a fantastic few days, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.